Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and to Undertale. Last time we left off, we were in Snowed In Town here. Um, we were gonna go off of the east side. Um, did we knock on this door? I can't remember. Yeah, we did. Okay, it's locked. And this is locked? This is locked from the inside. Aren't all doors locked from the inside? Okay. Anyway, let's go. Oh. What is happening? It's getting cold? It's getting cold. Oh, can't move. Hello, Papyrus. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. Oh, rude. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what's what I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. Cause you're gonna kill me. I, the great papyrus, will be your No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. All right. Oh, he has such good music, though. Check, insult, flirt. Let's check him first. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, meh heh meh heh Uh, okay. 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 That was good. Smells like bones. I don't want to insult him. Let's flirt. What? F f flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. <laughs> well, I I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming. Uh, they're both really good. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, the humility. It reminds me of myself. You're meeting all my standards. Let's date later after I capture you. Oh. Uh, I have bad feelings about how this is going. Or what's going to happen uh, with those attacks. Paris is thinking about what to wear for his date. Let's flirt again. Oh no. L let's date later after I capture you. Oh? Uh, am I supposed to just spare you? Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Am I supposed to just spare you? So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Oh, these are the ones we're not supposed to move for, right? Yes. It's so stressful to see stuff coming at you and then not... Move. Whoa! Hey now, hey now, whoa. Oh, I have to hit up? Oh, that's annoying. That's my attack. I missed the first one because I hit X. <laughs> oh. You're blue now. Ooh, the music. It's different. Excellent. Papyrus. <gasps> Rude. Uh, flirt, I guess. It's annoying I can't hit X to jump. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Well, let's see it later. What? Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to fight him? Or spare him, still? Uh, Papyrus to have some marinara sauce behind his ears. I don't want to attack. Uh, let's keep sparing, I guess? What? I'm not thinking about the date thing. Oh, maybe. Don't like... Do not like having it up on my controller. <sighs> oh. Uh, Papyrus stops MTT brand Bishy cream behind his ear? Hold up longer to jump higher, jeez. I don't want to hit up. Can I use my- Nope, I can't use the D-pad. That was a bad time check. <sighs> this is actually quite difficult. 
Fire stabs MC Brad anime powder behind his ears. <laughs> yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Why? No! Oh! That not being able to jump with X is not pleasant. <clears throat> Fire stub dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Stop. Ah, uh, stop. Please stop. No, oh, don't move. Okay. No! That was me! <laughs> I wasn't almost expecting that. Fire stabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Wasn't ready for that. Uh, Papyrus Staff's MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Papyrus unparalleled spaghetti. Spaghetti? 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 Dang it. Don't move. Oh, no. Hit X. <sighs> You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. What? I have one hit point left. Or, as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> I had one hit point left. I was just about to eat something. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nefully yours, Papyrus. Okay. It's a squeaky chew toy. <laughs> it's too small to sleep on. Looks like I'd be okay. I don't think I've ever been in this room before. Can I just, yep. Oh, I can actually just walk right through the wood. Excellent. Oh, that was here. It's locked from the inside. That's even better. Uh, is my, is my health still down? E no, I have full health again. Okay. It's locked. Okay, I guess I'll just leave. Aw, uh, do I just have to try it again until I get it? Maybe just have to keep fighting him until I win. Okay. Oh! Where could that human have gone? Wait! It's right in front of me! Hello! I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here! Wait a second! You're not supposed to escape! Get back in there! Oh, uh, okay. Same thing. So, uh, I'll be back in a second when I, uh, get back to where I was in, like, the dialogue or something. Papyrus is rattling his bell. Behold, my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. <laughs> I've been using my keyboard because I uh, can't jump very well using just the, the analog stick. It's quite difficult, so sorry there's some clickety clackies as I do this one. Uh, Sign so here's an absolutely normal attack. Why? Well, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Was not ready! Oh, jeez, and crackers. Stop it. Dang it, I was not ready for any of this! Dog, hello? Cool. Dude, oh, dang it. Skateboarding mode. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I almost hit that still. That was hilarious. Oh, don't trust you. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Thanks. Whew. 
That was actually quite long. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undying is going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quality will remain quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends? What a loser. Let's be fr- No! I love Papyrus. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then. I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who even knew all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the service. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> what? How did you do that? I love this game. Wait, does it end here? Oh no, is that the end? Oh no, it continues. Okay, cool. Let's head back. See if we can go on a skeleton date. Uh, let's hop in this. We'll go save our game. Oh, there's Papyrus. Be back in a second. Uh, let's save. Side of, oops, I hit the wrong button. Actually, but I want to go in here. I, no, I, 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 I was walking and I was holding onto the button. by uh, bicycle. Yes. Uh, I used a bicycle during the fight, so I'll do that. Uh, the sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. I don't know, I used to... I don't remember having such trouble with this game. I'm incredibly uncoordinated in this playthrough. I don't know, the analog certainly made it a lot more difficult, but maybe I'm used to jumping with my left hand? I don't know. Because I was doing it with the mouse keys on my right hand. I don't know, don't remember having such problem. Oh, you... do you follow me? Oh, hi. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Okay. <laughs> like his walk cycle. What? My house! Oh, okay. <laughs> what is going on on the top floor? What is this? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sp sprinkles. What's this? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Zans, please pick up your socks. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. It's catchy music, though. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Do you just watch Static? You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Wow. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside? Inside the quantum physics book, book was another joke book. You look inside? There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> I'll talk to him in a second. I want to explore the rest of his house. This rock is covered in sprinkles. Oh! Oh, this is another room. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a, sing a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Like, a, you mean like a cake? 
Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. Oh. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Dog! What? The music- the dog's eyes. <laughs> this music is ridiculous. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. That's hilarious. Aha! Interested in my food? F f food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. What else is in here? Forget it. Um, I was, was thinking, actually, while we were flirting with Papyrus earlier, I wanted to call Toriel. Nobody picked up? Alright. Uh, upstairs? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Not yet. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Oh, no funny text. Okay. Welcome to my scenic house. To scenic my house. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Oh, okay. So I guess let's go up in here then. That's my room. If you finish looking around, and go in. Do whatever people do when they date. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, those are all attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I just... I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower account. Oh, wait, how? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns and goofy font. Your brother. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Yeah. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undying found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Santa. Okay. That's my bed. Sweet bed. Uh, if I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream, and I have neither skin nor hair. So instead of cruising while I snooze... Oh, so instead I cruise while I snooze. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes? Okay! Dating start! Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. It's true. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Thursday. Whoa, reel it in popularity, crime. Egg. Wowee, I feel so informed. Dog radar. What is this? It is Thursday, that's weird. Uh, I don't think the population's doing that. Wow, we, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the great Pyrus, who will go on a date with you. Yes. Oh, look at his face. Oh, really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Your clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? 
you have wanted to date me from the very beginning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. Tension. Oh, goodness. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating. And I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Am I wearing a bandana? I think I put on a bandana. Like the tough ba manly bandana? It has abs on it. Behold! Cool suit. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. I do, I love it. The hat, backwards hat, the weird shorts, it's all great. No, a genuine compliment. Dating power. <laughs> Increase. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Are those basketballs on his shoulders or are those just his bones? Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Okay, I don't know what Z is, so... Shoes? Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Uh... Your shirt? This shirt didn't originally say, cool dude, or cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can, in can be improved this way. Uh... I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart, but who doesn't? Okay. Uh, your face? My hat? My hat? My hat? <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I was afraid to click on his shorts. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Spaghetti. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you were thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This isn't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah. Ugh. No. Oh, this is a dating power increase. Oh. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want... I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for mine. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. <laughs> A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> <gasps> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> okay. That was weird. <sighs> okay, I think that's all there is to see. Can we go in this room now? Nope. Oh. 
can I call him? Let's call Toriel again. Is that what you picked up? You're in my house. Good choice. Though I guess it's technically Sans's house too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is... It's like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. <laughs> this sink is so tall you can't even wash your hands. Huh. There's an empty pie tin inside the oven. Oh, he made pie. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, like quiche. Yeah, okay. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, let's save. And then I think I'm gonna end this one here. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit short, uh, but that feels like a good place to just kind of wrap it up after the date, I guess. Um, next time we'll head off to the right side and see what there is over here. Um, at the end of this... Unless Sans attacks... I don't think he will attack again, will he? Nope, I just walk out of the cold. So we'll head this way next time. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Sounds ominous. Just stuff on the ground. So we'll do that next time. Uh, thank you all for joining me in this adventure of Undertale. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, bye.